them to introduce themselves one memento. So from left to right we have Livan, Chris. You see, I said Levan. I made you ever as a posh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah, spoil you it all, don't you? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Chris. Chris, yeah, nice to see you shave for me, thanks. Yeah, and John. Uh, John. You're looking fairly respectable. Yeah. Who's the man with the camera? Is that Lord Litchfield? Yeah, that is Elliot Litchfield. Does he do uh, weddings at all? Because well, Wayne does. wants him now. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he says. That's good. No, the thing is that you are at the Charlotte tonight, aren't you? Great venue. That's right. You'll love that band. Have you been there before? Never been there before. You're a new band, aren't you? Is it right you started this garage band in what summer of 2006? Yeah. Why? Embryo. Why did I start it? Because life's too short. Yeah. You're right. you gotta live it up. Yeah. That, that was the thinking behind it. Now. Don't know about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you see dreams being shattered up there. And how did you meet up with this lot? Oh dear. Me and John were friends for a long, long time, oh and dear. Chris came through a magazine ad. Did he really? <laughs> you take those magazines as well. Right? <laughs> so we with a busker in the street store. <laughs> <laughs> and with the piano player, how do we get hold of him? Oh, I don't know. I've known Eddie for many years. Have Picked you? him up in a pub. Did you? Yeah, best place for him. <laughs> uh, so, was it difficult getting yourself on the circuit? Um, I guess it was difficult finding a sound, because um, it, it's it's more about sort of trying to get something sounding proper and then sort of dishing it out in front of people as opposed to trying and feel it out. So that was the plan. So, sort of kept to ourselves for quite a long time. Uh, did very few gigs and now we're sort of really launching ourselves out. That, that's the plan. But how did you know that sound was going to be right? It felt, that, it felt right to us. So that's the important thing. Yeah, we believe in it. And yeah. If we believe in it, you've got to hope other people do. Fair comment. He doesn't say a lot, does he? No, sir. I see you don't say too much, do you? No. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, so there you are, though, what, 18 months later, and um, you're gigging. And Quite a lot, yeah. And that's not bad, is it? Mm. Probably. Have you achieved everything you want to do in 18 months? In as much that, was it right for you? Uh, it's a special, that's a fantastic question. Uh, absolutely. Anything uh, from now onwards is, is a bonus. The record out that we're proud of, and you know, if people like it, and if we if we ever go and play in front of people, and there's ten people singing out throughout the song as opposed to humming a chorus, mm. it's a huge success. And the other thing is, of course, that um, uh, the other thing was the man behind uh, what was it, Embrace in the in the Kaiser. Uh, David, yeah. yeah, David, David Creffield. Yeah, that was a, a just a, a big coincidence. We met up with him, and he um, he liked the sound, and he sort of championed it, and produced uh, three of the tracks on the record, and John produced the rest of it. Really? Did you write Life Is Smiling? Yes, I did. Yes. Did you? How did you find that writing? Writing music, yeah, it's great. Do these boys disagree with you? Uh, not in the right. Sometimes he does. Yeah, <laughs> he, does, yeah, yeah. he, does. he, he does looks in trouble. Like yeah, he's the one. Yeah. yeah. In what way? So subtly, very sort of di diplomatically, but he does. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does. He does because he's a good musician. Hmm. So he sort of bullied me with that one. The other thing is, of course, that as I always say, there's a hell of a lot of competition out there, isn't there? And you've, got to, and you've got to fit in there like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Um, you mentioned about the fact that oh, I did get in on the circuit, but is it also a question that you've got to bring to the attention of the public your sound by not only gigging but producing the album as well? Producing it. Um, the, the, the difficult thing about penetrating the, 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 the circuit, I find, is that there's a, a specific trend that is set by power, the powers that be, whoever they are. And if you don't match the criteria, i.e. looks and um, certain other things, sounds, and then you sort of immediately put on the side, which um, the pleasant surprise is that I find that, that that's not been happening with us, although we're sort of not the exact same stereotype of, indie, of an indie band. And um, so that's quite, quite nice to see. But you people. say that, though, there's a lot of famous bands, if, they, if they had, they've had that image, and yet they've gone on to say, well, who cares what people think, we're going to do it our way. After they sort of get the success. Yeah. 
Because once you've got success, success, you really have the opportunity to do what you like. But in order to sort of break through and... Because there's only a limited amount of time you can do this without running out of money and having to go out there and be a builder. Mm. Um, so uh, as soon as... If, if you manage to break through, you get signed by a, by a big label and get a lot of money and sell a lot of records, then you can sort of improvise a lot more. Well, you can dictate to them as well, can't you? Uh, mm. Yeah, not so much as not not as much as they bands used to be able to dictate because the industry is sort of coming apart with all the digital piracy. Well, I always felt that you made it big when you said to the record company, "Here's the ten tracks I want to do. Never mind you." Mm. And that's when you you've made it, isn't it? Which is what we've got from day one because we've done this exactly as we wanted. So mm. that's that's the great thing. Let's have a song, can we please? Yeah. What are we gonna do? The song's called No Man's Land. <laughs> 